Eighth race of the afternoon in the hands of the starter. It's post time. Gerard McNeil Memorial Pace. Winner's over. Week 11, top of the stretch. Revenant, Regally Maglified, A Better Man, Mando Fun. Runaway Mystery, Red Rum, She Wrote, and Gentry Sealster. Here they come. And there they go, off and pacing as expected. Revenant at the inside. A better man firing hard into the turn here and is going to clear for Kennedy as they head towards the opening eighth. Revenant tucked away for a two-hole ride. Gentry Sealster at the inside goes third. Regally magnified. Parked and forced to drive on here from fourth. Going to the quarter. At the inside, fifth is Amando Fun. And then sixth away, runaway mystery. The early trailer. Red rum, she rode. Hard ball up front from a better man. In and Kennedy, they're parking out regally magnified past the quarter in 28 and three. Revenant rides the pocket there, third. Gentry seals to at the inside, fourth. Mando fun considering a move to the outside, fifth. And then runaway mystery and red rum she wrote trails off the three eighths turn. The battle continues to the opening half mile. A better man, the leader, regally magnified, parked second. Revenant sits the pocket third. At the inside, fourth, Gentry Sealster stayed in. So runaway mystery now. Second over, towed into it, fifth. Halfs up in 58 and four. Underway, sixth, red rum, she wrote. And now shuffle back, trailing Mando Fun. Three wide action going next to three quarters. A better man, the leader. At the inside, between Pacers, Regally Magnified, runaway mystery now firing three high there revenant back on at the inside gentry sealster needs racing room mando fun's gonna try and sweep them four high oh they're all in it here gerard mcneil would love this three quarters and one 30 and one a better man the leader runaway mystery mando fun firing for campbell turning for home revenant needs racing room into the stretch a better man, Mando Fun down the center, Gerard McNeil Memorial, Ryan Campbell, Mando Fun swept him to win it. A better man second, it's tight for third, three of them across the track in one, 59 and one. Eighth race this afternoon, Gerard McNeil Memorial Pace would ask all the entries please to come back for a presentation uh, prior to parading the winner. All entries please come back prior to the winner's presentation. Gerard McNeil Memorial Pace for 2022, Gerard, Gerard born September 27th, 1958 to the late Mike and Sadie McNeil was the baby boy in the family of 10. He grew up in Sydney on Dixon Avenue across the street from the Cape Breton Sports Center. Junior, as he was known to his many friends, Began at the track as a starter with Elmer Thompson, Mel Forrest, and Richie Hunt. He worked as an associate judge for the Nova Scotia Harness Racing Commission alongside John Coleman, Gordy McDougall, and Richie Perouche. He also worked as assistant general manager at the Cape Breton Turf Club with mentor and close buddy Dave Guy. He was a paramutual manager at Tartan Downs, working with good friend Louise McDonald occasionally, did a stint in the announcer's booth both in Sydney and Inverness. Gerard caught the ownership bug in the 1990s. It was at the time at the Hardly Able Stable, was formed with good friends Barry. Dubois, Buddy Uden, Richie Hunt, Brian McGinnis, and his idol, Harge Uden. Harge encouraged the big man to get in the sulky. Junior owned and raced Shirley Power, Anita's Wig, Miss Design, Lingan Parker, Jersey Popcorn, and Highland Hazel. His horses were always his number one priority, which was evident by the immaculate stable he kept and the way he treated his horses. The Bank of Montreal girls finally remember, finally remember the day Gerard came into the bank to withdraw money from his account to, quote, buy a dress for his princess. That dress turned out to be a horse cooler for Shirley Power. 
Gerard held the highest regard and respect for those who kept harness racing alive on Cape Breton Island. He would often mention them by name. Jimmy Collins, Julie Frieson, the Seymours from Glace Bay, Russell McDonald, Spike Gillis, Harold LeBlanc, the Ghettos from the Waterford, the Ratchfords, Wayne McGean and Howie Collins from North Sydney, along with Freddie Malcolm McClellan, Alex Sutherland, Jamie Walker, and the Copley's from up north, and the Sydney crew of Fred Saunders, the Rankins, Harold Uden, and Patty McGuire. To be honest, Junior loved all Cape Breton horsemen. At the time of his passing, Gerard resided with his sister Marlene and nephew Jesse, who he loved and spoiled like his own. Family was everything to Gerard. His favorite time of the year was Christmas. Each and every Christmas, he would dress up as Santa Claus and visit all his nieces and nephews loaded with presents and send them off to bed. They all adored him. So on behalf of all of his brothers and sisters, his faithful companion Rascal, and all his nieces and nephews, we present the Gerard McNeil Memorial Pace for 2022. And in that winner's circle, family and friends track side with the winner, the four Mando Fun. Nine-year-old Brown Gelding by Badlands Hanover from the Ball and Chain Dam Millennium Ball. For co-owners Ron Seymour Jr. and Aubrey Cameron, Ron Seymour trains. Ryan Campbell got the catch-drive call to the winner's circle today. Third win on the season for Mando Fun. The Pacer gets his 34th lifetime today. Bob Bootler and Jesse Pearson trackside with the cooler presentation. Family and friends trackside in memory of the late Gerard McNeil Memorial. It was a good one here today at the Downs. About three lengths separated all seven of them and four wide at the three quarters to the winner's circle. Mando fun in the Gerard McNeil Memorial pace for Ryan Campbell in one fifty-nine and one.